Hi guys, it's Karina. So I'm back with another tutorial on my template six. So I wanted to share with you guys how to make this cute one. Super easy, again, great for beginners. Um, the center was done using my Cricut. Um, so I am gonna share the measurements with you guys on how to create this. Now, if you don't have a Cricut machine, um, a while back I did post under my saved highlight stories kind of sharing with you guys how you can create this spiral look using a um, paper cutter or I don't know what it's called <laughs> I think it's like it's one of like those scoring um, scoring boards that you can find at any craft store um, so if you want to take a look at that I do share with you guys how you can make a spiral center using one of those even with an exacto knife if you don't have so if you don't have a Cricut machine and you want something similar like this Take a look at that saved Instagram highlight story. Um, maybe you can go ahead and recreate it because I did recreate something just a one layer and it turned out super cute and no machine. Okay, so take a look at that. So this is what my template six looks like. So with template six, you receive five different size petals. Um, so you can make simple layered ones just like this um, or a three petal layer like this or using two uh, so this one I actually use the same petal the smallest one and then I just doubled up so I mean really I mean it's up to you um, how you want to use the petal to your liking um, but I did want to share with you guys this one real quick with you guys so to get started you're going to need the first four petals not the largest one and you're going to need six of each so mine are all prepped, ready to go. So you should have four different sizes. So again, I'm not using the largest of the petal, but let me show you how to prep. So you're gonna get your petal, something to curl with, and then you're gonna curl the petals back, just like that. You're gonna grab your scissors, cut about two inches, grab your glue gun, add some glue, and then just like that. Yeah. And there you go. That's how you're gonna prep all your petals. So mine are all ready to go, just so I don't bore you with that. And let's get started with your largest petal. So if you're a follower of mine, you've seen all pretty much a couple of my tutorials, you know that this is pretty much how I start off with many of my templates is just gluing, adding a dot of glue, and then going around in a circle. Let me move her out of the way. I am using today my Attack Pro 80. Today, you can, this one is off Amazon, but I've seen them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, um, Michael's what does my yeah I believe Michael's has it too and it's nice because it has I think I believe it came with two, two nozzles so you're able to um, interchange them I really wanted something that had a thinner one can you see that so I really like this one so as you can see I went around in a circle and this is what we want to achieve a circle in the middle now same color we're going to cut a large enough circle to cover that hole, okay? And we're gonna go around. And then just like that, press down. And if you're curious what that is, it's to burn. I burned myself with the glue gun. <laughs> so there we go, we have that first layer. So now you're on to your second layer. And you're pretty much now gonna go in between. And we are going to be going around. I am using the lightest yellow from the Michaels cardstock pack. I believe it's like yellow and oranges. So I am using the lightest shade one of my favorites because it's not too yellowy 
pretty pastel color. So you're just going to go around and give me twee. Now that we are done with that layer, next petal, repeat the same thing. You're going to go in between the petals. So this one roughly measures around 15, 16 inches. Um, if you were to use all five petals, so you're including that large one, she'll roughly be around 18, 18 inches. So again, I'm only using six petals here, but I've done it where I've only done five. Um, or you can add more if you wanted to add seven um, petals for each layer. So really, it's up to your preference. I just want to show you pretty much my go-to flower with this template because it's super easy and it's super cute. So now we're down to our last petal. Now, with this one, I'm only going to add glue to one side, which is my, the right side. I'm gonna go in between. Because we're gonna tuck that last petal in. Okay, I mean, so this is pretty much it. Now all we're left is our, the center. So center-wise, like I said, I'm gonna show you the spiral using my official Cricut, but I mean, you can do whatever you want, guys. You can do a palm or like the ones in the background that I use the dandelion image. So that is up to your preference. Don't feel like when I share a flower and I share a certain center that you have to do that certain center. You don't. You can do whatever you want. So last petal. And remember how I did not glue. So I'm tucking her in. Okay, so I tucked her in. So now this is... We need to glue that down. All that glue. Voila. All done. Super simple and super cute. Now we're eating the center, so that's going to be part two, so stay tuned.